All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the More Servos mod, which is being made by Formuser Angel125. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely new selection of additional robotic parts for you to use in the Breaking Ground DLC. So let's uh, jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get here. Now let's grab ourselves mark one command pod for size comparison sake and then turn on the janitor's closet filter just leaving wild blue industries and this being of course a robotic based parts mod well we're not gonna have anything in these first couple of categories starting down here with the majority of the parts being in of course the robotics tab though we do have a few other utility parts in some of these other categories which is quite nice and the first thing we'll have a gander at here is the extension boom which is well just a nice big solid structural part for you to build robotic arms with and as you can see on the styling of this thing it is meant to resemble the real world candidarm which is I think quite nice and it does it pretty darn well with the styling here it looks very nice and otherwise you know the modeling is a very good here texturing good all in all, a good solid tube. Now, we do also have a shorter extension boom here. If you don't want your arm to be quite so long, it's pretty much half size there, but still a good functioning piece. Now, if we then jump to the robotic parts themselves, the first here is the high angle hinge, which is a lovely hinge that, you know, does that. So there you go. That is the robotic movement for that lovely piece. And then after that hinge, we do have a right angle servo for you to sort of spin around on that right angle there. Does quite nicely, a good uh, movement. And then we have a side-by-side -side servo, which is very handy for making a bit more compact of robots as you can sort of fold in your robotic arm there, and also just giving you a different angled hinge. And then we also do have the Mark I End Effector, which is actually a docking node, as you can see here. And the movement for this one is a bit interesting as it rotates around. Now, oh, wait, hold on. I got it flipped around there so we can actually show the proper movement. There we go. Rotates around as such and is one of the more gorgeous looking parts in this pack. It looks uh, very good there. A lot of great detailing. Definitely, definitely like this part. And it was good to have a, another docking node thing. And the final part that we have in this category is the KI-200 controller, which is actually serving as an unmanned command pod with a data transmitter and as SAS and five electric charge. And of course is a, a robotic controller for your mission. So you can open up uh, that editor there and do what you need and all in all a very good little thing i do like the look of it nice little camera up front there overall a good part now after that we've got two things here in coupling a micro a docking port here for attaching small things together and of course works nicely in conjunction with the mark one end effector and then we also have a micro claw grappling hook for if you're wanting to grab onto some tiny things and very good little parts i do enjoy them now we've got nothing in payload nor aerodynamic ground a thermal but an electrical we actually have what I think may be my favorite part in this mod. I mean, sure, that KI-200 is cool, and sure, the, the end effector is cool, but there's something about this part I really love. It's a miniature battery with a built-in solar panel, and I love it. <laughs> now, the battery only holds 50 electric charge, so it's not the biggest of batteries ever and the solar panel also not the greatest but you know 2.1 charge on there it's just a nice little thing i don't know why i love this part so much but honestly i download this pack just for this i would have a lot of ideas in my head about attaching this tiny little solar battery onto small probes and micro satellites etc it's just a nifty little part now 
after that, we have uh, nothing else in the remaining category, so that is what we have here. So let's head out to the runway where I have a rover waiting with a really poorly built robotic arm to show off these things in action. Now, I didn't may use the editor to do anything, you know, nicely. But we can, of course, control it from here, adjusting the angle of the large arm with that high-angled hinge. We can then swing this baby around with the side-by-side -side servo there. Always good to have. Ooh, ooh, too much, too much. There we go. We can then use this one to sort of uh, rotate that bit around, which is kind of redundant considering the part I attached it to also rotates around but hey it functions but look at those little solar batteries I, I seriously don't know why I'm so obsessed with these in this mod but I love them I mean the robotic parts are cool and all I mean very cool I really really do enjoy them they definitely do serve their purpose and making a uh, sort of stock alike canadarm is a very cool thing but yeah, for some reason, I really like those little batteries. But yes, that is really it for this mod. Not a whole lot to go over. A handful of lovely parts to help extend the usefulness and awesomeness of the Breaking Grounds DLC. And yeah, so if you do enjoy some robotic parts or some cool little batteries, I'd certainly say to give this mod a look. And I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. Oh yeah, and of course, link in the description for the mod as per usual. Really didn't get that across there as I normally do, did I? But yes, now I hope you have enjoyed the uh, episode here today, and if you uh, have enjoyed, maybe come back for the next when hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!